hello everyone it's camille welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today i want to do another dutch pour bloom well that was what i was going for but the outcome resembles somewhat of a splatter i love it that's why i gave it that title splatter it's just amazing the effect the way the paint um, was stretched across the canvas just reminds me of when paint is splash or splatter onto a surface so I love it it's just amazing and I'll be working with the rainbow colors here guys and you know it's all about the colors okay it's all about the colors and this is what I love about the acrylic pour the fluid art you know never know what the outcome will be it's always you know a mystery you know you have to stay all the way to the end you know keep working at it see what the result is gonna be when it's all done all right because when you think that you're finished no something else comes up even sometimes when the paint is drying you know something else comes up <clears throat> before I continue I want to just apologize for um, the first couple minutes of my video where you can barely see the colors is because of the lighting in my room I had all the lights on the, the, the light was coming through the window as well and I realized after like you know what let me go turn off the lights and close my blinds and then I did that after so I really want to apologize but I'm working with all rainbows color here guys and they're just different shades um, working with like two different shades of each color of the rainbow so you know you guys do stick around or just check it in the in uh, the description box below this video the name of the paints that I'm using so I know I said in the beginning that this is a Dutch pour bloom well this is because I am I've been inspired by Rinske um, beautiful YouTube artist um, you know and she has been doing a lot of these Dutch pour bloom spin out you know and I do love it and I it's not really a, a Shelly art bloom because I'm not using the ingredients that the Shelly art bloom um, techniques you know so there's no polycrylic in this guys and of course there's no silicone oils creating these beautiful cells that I that I have created that you will see in the end of the video if you do stick around um, the cells were created because of how the paints actually actually reacts with each other you know some paints are lighter you know in density so some will you know rise above you know some will sink while the others others will rise okay so it's all about the density and then i know i have to give credit as well to the artist love black paint that i use mostly as my pour over i do create a lot of cells using the artist love soft body um, acrylic paint all right so that's the paint that's the last paint that you see me adding over these colors but I don't put it over I just put it like in the middle right there just to so that when I'm blowing it out it will help to create cells as it stretch across as it, you know get blown across the colors if you've ever watched any of my pearl cells puddle pour um, where I layer the colors and then I pour the artist love soft body acrylic over and then I stretch it across the canvas tilting it all the way over all the four sides creating beautiful cells well guys listen that's the same ingredients I'm using um, in this uh, paint that a painting that I'm doing tonight and in, in my previous Dutch pour blow out spin out blooms <laughs> whatever you guys want to call it but yes the dutch pour i call it my dutch pour blooms or my dutch pour pearl cells bloom because it's really pearl cells and they're just beautiful multicolored like for tonight it's going to be rainbow colors right so it's all about the consistency of the paint the colors guys i mix it a bit thicker and uh, the black is i i did add a little bit more water so they do have the same ingredients but it's just that I add a bit more water to make it thinner so the black paint is thinner than the colors all right so if you if you do really want to learn how I do this or how I get to create these cells do check out 
my pearl cells puzzle techniques i it, you know i will put it at the end of this video the end card you guys can always go ahead and check it out but i they're just different you're gonna see different results all the videos are so different some cells are big some are small and it's all because of the paints that i use there are certain paints that i do love using to create cells and i do prefer using the deco art paints i do love the way the cells come out but you know what guys that's just my, that's just me and my preference okay i really do want you guys to give it a try and let me know um, how this is working out for you also guys let me apologize right here my camera stopped and i did not even realize when i did my first spin out i still want to show because you know what this is different um i wasn't really too happy with it but at the end it grew on me and i love it and i still want to share it because you know like I, like i said it's like a it's like a splatter right it's not a bloom or it's not a flower it's not a star it just looked like paint got you know splattered onto the canvas and i decided to keep it haven't resin it yet but i do love it and yeah this, this one is a keeper for me even if it stays in my home for as long as forever <laughs> i love it i don't do a lot of rainbow color art with on black background and this is just one of my favorites so i decided to keep it and decided to share it with you so i really want to apologize for the fact that um the first spin out you didn't get to see all right but it's just spinning okay guys there's nothing to it i blow it out at first when you guys saw me blow it out with a blow dryer and i have to say my blow dryer is a powerful blow dryer i blow it out on the lowest lowest setting and it splattered all over so you know until i do decide to get a different blow dryer this is what i'm gonna use all right so it's different and i do love it and yeah you guys do let me know what you think about this one leave a comment in the comment section below and if you really do enjoy my contents guys and you really want to see more hit that subscribe button hit the bell hit all so that you're notified each time i post a new video i try to post at least two or three times a week and you know guys it's fun and i do love my colors and i do love to experiment and i do watch other youtube artists and i do get inspiration from other youtube youtube artists and i make it my own all right i watch rinse Cadona, i see how she does hers and then i make it my own okay guys it, it's not exactly the way she does hers but i do make it my own so i want to inspire someone to you know try and make it your own you know you won't get the same result all the time but just make it your own okay guys that's just all i want to tell you and of course here it is the close-up of the wet result and you can see those beautiful cells and the colors blended so beautifully i love it really do love the center of this blowout i do love how the violet and the lavender how it blends together beautiful colors guys the two shades of green emerald and bright green beautiful my bright blue and my sky blue amazing and you do get some cells at the tip of some of the petals some petals still maintain its shape while some got spun out and you know kind of remind me of splattering or you know but i love it and it's just a beautiful love painting you know i just can't imagine living in a world without color you know live your life in full color guys this is what this painting is all about and especially this month being june full of love you know i prefer to live my life in color you know what i mean i do love my colors and every color represents something to me something significant in my life all right so let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course here it is all dried hanging on my fireplace and i decided to hang it this way i was gonna let you guys choose but i stared at it and this is the way i love it <laughs> I love how the orange and the yellow and the red right up the top there you know it's just a perfect combination and everything just flows in place and I do love it and I can't wait till this is dried I just did it over the weekend and I can't wait till it dry to actually put a coat of resin on it I just was so excited to share this with you 
after it's resin i will show this in you know a, a, a upcoming video so you guys do come back and do check out my other videos and do check out my playlist if you do get a chance and i will see you guys next time on camila moy art bye